Got brain arthritis encephalitis is a viral disease of goats that manifests as two principal disease syndromes, arthritis in adult goats and encephalitis, more specifically leukoencephalomyelitis in kids. Other signs associated with it are interstitial pneumonia and endurative mastitis. The etiologic agent is the caprine arthritis encephalitis virus. An enveloped, single-stranded, positive-sense RNA lentivirus of the family Retroviridae. Retro meaning backward or reverse, because all members of this virus family undergo an additional reverse transcription step during viral replication. From RNA to DNA. The DNA here is referred to as the provirus DNA. Lenti here is Latin for slow, which describes the slow, insidious occurrence of disease from the initial infection. Incubation periods for viruses of this genus are very long, ranging from months to years. Transmission The caprine arthritis encephalitis virus is primarily spread through the ingestion of infected colostrum or milk. The virus hitches a ride inside a macrophage and is absorbed in the gut of the kid. The virus can be transmitted horizontally through direct contact, indirect contact with fomites, and reuse of needles or other equipment that has been contaminated with blood. The pathophysiology is not very well understood. The caprine arthritis encephalitis virus likes to infect cells of the monocyte macrophage system resulting in chronic inflammatory disease occurring characteristically in the synovium of the joints, brain and spinal cord, lungs, and other. Inflammation of the synovium of affected joints, or polysynovitis arthritis, is most common and usually occurs in adults. The synovium is thickened and there is infiltration of numerous macrophages and lymphocytes. This makes the joint appear distended and the goat may be lame. The encephalomyelitis is more often manifested in kids between ages 2 to 4 months, but occurrence in older kids and goats have been described. Foci of necrosis appear in the white matter as well as some demyelination. This results in various nervous signs, such as weakness, ataxia, hypertonia, and hyperflexia, which may progress to paresis in some or all the limbs and paralysis. Interstitial pneumonia is rare in kids but less uncommon in adults. An endurative mastitis makes the mammary gland swollen and hard. This is often described as a hard other syndrome. The dough may be agalactic and milk production remains low in most. The host immune system is generally unable to clear the virus because of its ability to integrate as a provirus in the host cells. The virus can persist in the host for as long as the host lives. Not all infected goats, however, will develop clinical disease. Most of the time, infection is subclinical. Diagnosis Presumptive diagnosis is through clinical signs and history. This can be confirmed by serologic assays, such as ELISA, agar gel immunodiffusion, and polymerase chain reaction. Treatment There is no specific treatment for caprine arthritis encephalitis, just supportive care. For the polysynovitis arthritis, additional bedding may be provided and NSAIDs such as phenylbutazone and aspirin may be given. For encephalomyelitis, good nursing care should be provided. Prevention Given that the primary mode of transmission is through infected colostrum, newborn kids should be removed from infected does at birth. They may be fed with colostrum or milk from a non-infected foster doe or with a milk substitute formula. Biosecurity measures must be strictly implemented, and serologic testing should be done to monitor the infection status of the herd. To summarize, 
Cat brain arthritis encephalitis is caused by a lentivirus of the family Retroviridae. It is primarily spread through the ingestion of infected colostrum or milk. The disease can manifest as arthritis, encephalitis, interstitial pneumonia, and slash or endurative mastitis. Diagnosis can be confirmed through serologic assays. There is no treatment for caprine arthritis encephalitis. Prevention is by the usual biosecurity measures and disease monitoring. Newborn kids should be removed from infected dose at birth. 